that you go and you go live in peace in your country. Seen speaking through an interpreter is the Minister for Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Refugees. Engineer Hilary Onek was here to flag off 197 refugees returning to their home country of Burundi. Our government and our people are Pan-Africanist. Any African citizen who is having problem in their country, we receive them. Among the audience was youthful, innocent Mnezero. He and other Burundians left with a lot of appreciation to the Ugandan government. These are part of the 11,000 who have returned home since December 2020. They are returning because Burundi is now peaceful. And uh, we have to encourage uh, refugees uh, to return home because the events in Burundi show a significant progress uh, in that direction. The other regional, uh, country generating refugees, they should try also to make their country peaceful so that they can create condition, good condition for people there, for their people to return home. But how are they received back home? This is one aspect that Minister for Disaster and Refugees is concerned about. It is very important that government, we in government, who we who are working in government, ensure that our citizens live in peace and they are not disturbed. And if there is such a situation there, we shall talk with your government to see that with immediate effect, they must make sure when you arrive home, you are welcome with, with two arms. The engagement is aimed at ensuring a smooth reception of repatriated refugees coming from Uganda. That is exactly what would take me there to sit with my colleague that in counterpart from Burundi. And we agree on what other extra measures should be taken by government to see that these people don't face challenges. A returning adult Burundian refugee from Uganda is given 60 US dollars, while each child is given 40 dollars. UNHCR wants other refugee generating countries to emulate the Burundian government and promote peace. Henry Okrut, UBC.